Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. Allegedly. Ray J remains on his candy burst and has a new line of headphones he's promoting with none other than Jordan Woods. They're called Ray J's Raycon E50 earbuds. And they're like a, like a, just a floating earbud. I'm always afraid that shit gonna fly out. But they offered her 30,000 for the promomo. So go ahead, Jordan, get your coin. According to B. Scott, Todd Tucker took his daughter to the strip club. His older daughter, not Riley, but you, you couldn't spend time with her anywhere else but the strip club. Is she a lesbian? And even if she is a lesbian, no. I mean, I'm sure father and sons go to the strip club, so why the hell can't father and daughter, honey? I guess. Oh my God, he said, please. Me and Caleb been to Magic City before. This ain't no big deal. Me and my mom went to the strip club. Now, I will say, Mama Tucker was with it. Mama Tucker was very with it. If I was going to go to the strip club with anybody's mama, it would be Mama Tucker. I feel like she'd get up there and shake that thing with the girls. Show them how to do it. Oh, my God. And she is 23. 23. I just... Couldn't y'all go to the park and have a nice little picnic lunch, maybe fly a kite? Normal shit, but I, I guess normal is relative. He said they're going to go anyway. They are? She's really going to go to a women's strip club? Okay. So why not experience it and have fun with your kids? That's what we need to do. We need to spend more time with our kids, even if it's at the club. I'm sorry. I don't need my parents at the club. I, I don't. I don't. We can go to lunch. We can even do a rooftop bar. But, uh, no, we ain't, we ain't going to the club. We ain't going to the club. That's an pro. Would you take your children to the strip club? Let me know in the comments, please. Please. I'm fascinated. And in other Burris Tucker news, Candy is preparing her restaurant for a Vanderpump Rules-esque spinoff. And you know, she got three of them jokers. The Jasmine brand exclusively reports that the show will feature Candy, Todd, and the staff. I think her spinoff and Nene's spinoff would be some good looks. They would replace selling it in the ATL, cutting it in the ATL, living it in the ATL, the ATL. You know, all them Carlos King shows that ain't on the air no more. And in your parents telling too much of their business news, once again, Jada's business takes center stage. Jada Pinkett Smith reveals she once, once, once did a threesome, but she didn't like it. She said, I was very, very young, like early, early 20s. She reveals as her daughter reacts in shock and horror, covering her eyes. I didn't like it. I just didn't have that level of intimacy. So I decided it wasn't for me. But I always think if I was in love with two people, that's another level. And I could see joining a threesome then, but I was a kid. I just saw two cute people and thought, what the hell? I think that is how most threesomes start with the, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> but apparently a thruple that Willow was following on Instagram is how this topic came about. That's how she got interested in polyamory. So they're like, no, you didn't see it in the home. She saw it on the gram. It was social media, not us. All right. I wonder if she calls Dwayne Martin Uncle Dwayne or Papa Dwayne. Put your thoughts in the comments on that one. Oh my God, are you shitting me? Flat tummy tea for pregnant women. Some actress cussed uh, Amber Rose out for peddling flat tummy tea for pregnant women. Is that shit FDA approved? But apparently Amber gets the last laugh. This is tea to help with nausea. It's just under the flat tummy brand. They like, you know, you probably like our tea. 
Even when you get pregnant, we want to keep getting your money. Oh, I can get that. I can get that. Have y'all tried the flat tummy tea? Is it good? I remember once I made a whole pitcher of super dieters tea, but I made it like iced tea. Honey, my stomach was cramping and cramping. I didn't know what it was. A horrible mistake. In Real Housewives of Atlanta News, Cynthia don't give a fuck about filming with Nene. She there for a check. Now, this weekend is the first time the two ex-friends will see each other since the big blow at Bob Bailey, where Kenya Moore showed up. They're being forced to film together. Now, you know Nene was fighting tooth and nail, but Cynthia remained fuckless. Oprah is playing around with the idea of a reboot. She said maybe not every day, but when shit happens in the news, I miss my show. I mean, girl, you got a network, so you could, you know, move some programming around since it's your own network. According to Media Takeout, Joe Budden and... Sin Santana faked their breakup for love and hip-hop. Who's surprised? Hands... Hands. After their breakup was announced several weeks back, both have been surprisingly tight-lipped, and the outspoken Joe rarely even mentioned Sin on his podcast, but it seems that we all have Heffa Scott Young to thank for that. He was on an Instagram Live, and people were asking him about his relationship, and he was basically saying, you know Mona's a genius, so just ask her about the plot line. This really makes me sad, because I don't want to see either of them back on Love and Hip Hop New York. Y'all were boring. Sin Santana does not serve a purpose. Joe, you have a podcast, so stay your ass over there. You are no longer loved or hip hop. Janet Mock has signed a three-year multi-million dollar deal to create content at Netflix. She is the first out transgender woman to have a production deal at a major studio. The three-year deal gives Netflix exclusive rights to her television projects and a first look option on her film projects. Under the deal, Mock will be an executive producer and director on Hollywood, the new upcoming Netflix series from Ryan Murphy, who also has a deal at the streaming giant. It will enable Mock to create programs that employ and highlight communities that have been historically ignored by Hollywood, including the intersectional space Mock herself occupies. Well, congratulations, Janet. Janet Mock is my new favorite Janet. Not that non-performing, mumbling Janet Jackson. You remember what she pulled at Harlem Week last year? She can keep it. Black China's ex is suing Black China and Rob for $2 million, according to TMZ. Pilot Jones is his name, and he's filed for damages to the tune of $2,113,800. He says the alleged cyberbullying and death of May May caused him emotional distress in the amount of $500,000. And he said the alleged attack fractured his family, and he wants two fifty dollars for that. He wants more than two fifty dollars for past and future medical expenses and $600,000 in lost earnings. And he somehow lost some rent and wants a $7,200 reimbursement for that too. Because he had to flee to Louisiana and give up his lease. And last but not least, he wants $500,000 in punitive damages. I just have one question. Who the hell is this guy? Have y'all heard of him? I think he just go around suing people. They said he sued them in 2017 and didn't get shit. Evelyn Lozada went on The Breakfast Club and basically begged Rob for a date while she was on there. That's all I heard about anyway. She was like, I'll date him. I'll happily date him. Anybody? Anybody want to me? Anybody want to me? Nobody wants you, Evelyn. Nobody. And last and least... Portia Williams and Dennis McKinley have officially split. Well, they never married, so at least Portia gets to keep that house. She was like, you ain't gonna put me out. She said, you ain't gonna put me out this time. Fuck that. We're over. Us Weekly says there's a tiny, tiny chance they might get back together, but it's very likely they're done for good. Wow. She introduced him to us in June, was pregnant three months later, and now they're completely broken up. All that happened only in a year. What a whirlwind year. So Wednesday, she unfollowed his ass again, and that's when it really ended. 
All right, well, at least they're going to have a plot line. I want to know how many of you think that this is merely to get her back in that queen bee position where it's all about Portia, Portia, Portia. I could see they sorry asses eloping. Remember, their wedding's supposed to be six months away. Now, they say they broken up now. I bet you by the time the shit air, they're going to be back together. So apparently there's a little more tea with this Dennis and Portia split. Portia refused to sign Dennis's prenatal agreement. I know it's prenuptial. Honestly, y'all should have handled that prenup before you got prenatal. They still saying Dennis is worth tens of millions of dollars. Then why the hell couldn't he just buy a house in Buckhead? Why was it important for Portia to sell her house and them to buy a house together? If he's worth tens of millions, then he could take, you know, a few of them tens of millions and get a house in Buckhead. Simple. Simple pimple. Child, Dennis was trying to get a payout from Portia. That's what I believe. She says she would still marry him if he gives up on the prenup. I, I don't buy that. I don't buy that at all. I believe that Portia knows all about the nups. She didn't been burned by one before, so I don't think she would want to be in a marriage without a document protecting herself and her home, especially with a baby. A baby. So... <laughs> I like babies, y'all. It's just fun to say, a uh, baby. <laughs> All suspicious and shit. You know them babies, honey. They be pulling. <laughs> this is a silly show. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody out, somebody out there is like, Alex really hates babies. <laughs> I don't hate them. They just loud. <laughs> they cute, though. They cute. <laughs> they say uh, Dennis ain't really fighting her over this breakup because her family don't want to fuck with him. I mean, if he's worked well, then again, she done been with a millionaire who done fucked her over, so they like, we done seen this song before. Just because he ain't giving his sissy tea don't mean he's the one for she. You know, her baby looks just like him. But she's pretty, so she can make his features work. Everybody also keeps saying, Portia just wanted a baby. Portia just wanted a baby. Portia just wanted a baby. I, I mean, she did want a baby. I just, I, I don't know how it works because I can't get pregnant. I just think she wanted more out of it than just a baby. I think if she just wanted a baby, she would have had a baby with that fool from a few seasons ago, the attractive one. Well, the semi-attractive one. He could get dusty with it. But she, she seems to actually care about him and want to be with him. Like, I feel like if you just want a baby, the first word you throw up is co-parent, co-parent. Now, once they start talking about co-parenting, it's over. If you're co-parenting, you like, look, we gonna get this done, but I secretly can't stand your ass. A lot of times, not so secretly. So whenever I hear co-parent, I know there's some bad blood. Because otherwise, y'all just have a kid together. Not co-parent. That's like a co-sign. It's like, yeah, I co-signed on that shit. I'm regretting it now. Well, those were today's hot topics, and I'll see you soon for something. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee. Allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly. 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 So as my mugs say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.